Deep in the freezing water of the Arctic, there was a beautiful mermaid. While she loved to swim and play with all the amazing creatures that thrive in the cold, she was born to look after the polar bears. She guarded their babies and showed them where to hunt, but slowly, their world began to melt. Of course she had magic to help counteract this, but it kept getting warmer and warmer until the ice was disappearing at an alarming rate and her friends had nowhere to hunt. The heat was leeching her magic and there was less and less she could do to help. Now, there was nothing left she could do except melt with the world she loved so much. But you can help. There are tons of things we can do, from using renewable energy sources to turning off the faucet when we brush our teeth. Use this moment to find out what you can do to prevent the destruction of the wonderful world we live in. Hi everybody, I'm Kaylee K of Fire and Eyes. <laughs> And this is Chico. We're about ready to show you how to make yourself into an Arctic Merman. Chico is going to help by providing moral support and extreme cuteness. Do you see the cutest face of this pup right here? Alright, now we're going to switch over to voiceover Kaylee to get this thing going. The first thing we're going to do is draw the outline for the picture on our chest. I decided to go with the chest first because then I could just build myself around it instead of trying to cut a hole out of the main makeup. I like to outline the picture first in white body paint so that way you can kind of blend it into the main painting as you go and then I went back after I got it done and sketched it out in black and then filled in the colors. I find that water based body paint makes it really easy to blend so I lay down a base color and then I go back over it with the colors I use for shading. This helps me build up layers until the picture I want comes through to the top. With body paints I like to save the detail work for the very last step. This allows me to go in with the fur and the iceberg right at the top after I've already built up the depth with the other colors. I chose to go very abstract and freeform with the sky by layering colors of the sunset. I wanted the warm colors both to contrast with the rest of the look and to illustrate the heat the bears are experiencing. Now I hope you're ready to start gluing stuff to your face. To glue on our horns I'm taking cotton, covering it with liquid latex, wrapping it around the crystal, and gluing it to our head. You're gonna need a lot to balance the weight of the crystals. And make sure you let them dry all the way before you paint over it. Ask Bay for help with the hair dryer when your hands are too sticky to hold it. After a quick snack, we'll get back to gluing the third horn to our head. It's actually pretty easy to peel off your fingers once it's dry. To make the scales, we mixed up some hot gelatin and got it in a syringe and made a ton, a ton, a ton of tiny dots. We're going to need a lot of these because we're going to put them together. I chose to glitter them while they were still wet so it stuck into the thing itself. And then once they were dry, I peeled them off, spread some more gelatin on parchment paper and used that as the glue to connect the dots to make big chunks of scales. You can do this multiple times. Cover the back of the piece with latex and stick them wherever you would like. Looking scaly. I'm going to go ahead and map out a full contour with white and blue paint sticks. I want the blue in the deepest shadowy parts of my face and body and the white on the parts that stick out. Blend until all these lines look like your skin. Then cover everything in translucent powder. This paint does not dry so you want everything to be smooth. I'm also taking teal and blue eyeshadow and working it around the scales and into the contour to create more deep shadows. Start with lighter shadows and build up from dark blue to dark purple. That'll really give you the depth in the look. Then go back over all the light sections with the brightest white highlighter you can find. Go ahead and throw a wing on your one good eye. And show us a beautiful purple lip with a blue ombre created an eye patch out of hot glue and I'm using latex to stick it to my face. This will protect it from the gelatin we're going to drip all over that side of our face to make it look like we melted with the sun. You can pre-mix your gelatin with colors but I decided to go ahead with shadows and color it in, use orangey for the highlight and I went deep with the purple. Now we're going to make our fishy ears out of paper clips and clay. Roll out the spines of your ears with air dry clay and lay them out. Attach them to the paper clip to create the structure for your ears. 
Then roll out wide, flat pieces to make the backing of your ears. I used a butter knife and pieces of the paperclip that I chopped off earlier to create the texture of the ears. Make them as fishy, I made them a little more torn because Armor Maid is melting. Then I went in with water-based body paint and kind of made an ombre. I also colored the spines in purple. I went back over the colors with highlighter to give them that luminescent glow. And I asked my mama to help put them on because I already webbed my hands. I liked painting my arms for last because like I said the paint doesn't really dry. And make sure again you blend it all the way out. To make our mermaid hands, we're going to start by tracing our hands on a piece of parchment paper. The next step is to build up 5 million layers of liquid latex, letting each one dry in between. I'm exaggerating, but it's a lot. Use a sharpie to sketch out where you want to cut the webs on your hands. Then go ahead and cut them out along those lines. Remember latex sticks to itself, so you want to cover everything with translucent powder. Paint a layer of latex on your hands and stick it to your web. Then go ahead and contour your hands the same way you did the rest of your body. White and dark. I went really hard on the hand highlight to get the effect I was going for. Actually, I, I spilled, and then it came out cool. So we went with it. I used water paint instead of alcohol paint to paint the webs. It didn't work as well, but we had to make it work a moment, and it came out pretty cool, I think. 